You're now watching a clip from the Mark West Sports Podcast. All right, all right. So we're moving on to the NFC. The NFC got some uh, two good, good games, too, um, on that side. Mm-hmm. I'll start with the Packers and the Niners. Sure, uh, no. Just the uh, – just the way the game looks kind of always brings me back to watching playoffs with Brett Favre and, and Steve Young when they used to battle. Um, back in the day, this game is in Green Bay, which is a real home field advantage um, because, you know, it's not like there's going to be a lot of other fans there because the I believe it's like, <laughs> you know, like they, they ain't going to leave to go to Lambeau Field, the frozen tundra, as, as Chris Berman used to call it. Um yeah, and, and because of that, I think it's going to be tough for San Francisco to win. West Coast team, you know, um, they, they're used to sunshine and, and all of that. And um, they have the elements that do travel with a football team when it comes to, like, a running game and defense, you know. Um, but, like I said, in these games, it's like, who do you trust? You know, like, what, what quarterback and, and coach – do you trust in the, in the playoffs? Because the other team is always trying to figure out what you're trying to do. They're going to figure some stuff out, you know? So you have to have players that can make just something out of nothing, you know, uh, at times. And I don't see that with Jimmy G, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo. He's been a, a good player, a good um, game manager type of quarterback. He's not, necessarily going to win you the game but he usually doesn't lose the game either but in a game like this when you're playing against Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams at home with a week of rest it's just it just seems like it's impossible to happen now I love Debo Samuel Samuel as well um but like I thought the Dallas Cowboys would do I thought they would key in on him you know um, but somehow he still got loose and broke free for like a 20 yard touchdown run. So I think this Green Bay defense is, is underrated and they got some players that I think they do got one pro bowler or one all pro player, which is a guy that I don't even know. Of, but I just remember seeing that there was a Green Bay all pro player. I believe it's a linebacker and Bakatari, who is like a defensive tackle, I believe. It's always been solid for the last couple of years. Um, so I'm obviously I'm picking Green Bay to win this game just because, you know, like I said, they're at home. And I haven't even mentioned Aaron Rodgers, the possible MVP once yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even mention that guy. And he has something to prove to Green Bay and the world that you can go be a host on Jeopardy in the offseason and come back and win a championship. I think he really wants to prove that, you know, he's that guy and Tom Brady is not that guy. And I feel like they're trying to do a Tom Brady, you know, Rogers NFC championship anyway, but you know, we'll see about, we'll see who we pick on the next game, but I like, I like green Bay to beat San Francisco. I would say, give me 31 to 26. Okay, that's reasonable. I mean, I think you got Aaron Rodgers. You got Aaron Rodgers. That's all you need. Yeah. And you got Devontae Adams? Right. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, I know you said, you know, it depends on the head coach. You know, look, Aaron Rodgers is the head coach. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? You got a rookie head coach right now that – you know he ain't nobody in that organization is saying anything to, you know, put fuel on that flame and have Aaron Rodgers win the Super Bowl and tell him to kick rocks. They want to win the Super Bowl and please stay, Aaron. Please stay. That's what they want. Um, you know, Aaron Rodgers have motivation. You know, he have motivation for those individuals that had something negative to say about him standing on his ground and not taking the vaccine like Kyrie. He didn't lie. He said he was getting immunized. For again, you may have misinterpreted it. Well, well what does that but, even mean, though? <laughs> what, what does that even mean? I've been immunized. 
Well, I mean, what is that? Nobody asked the question. It was not his job <laughs> to ask the question. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's what you like, you as a journalist. A journalist, if you was there in that in that in that room asking questions, and he he would have said that, you would have been like, "So, Aaron Rodgers, what do you mean exactly?" by you're immunized that, that's what you would have done but you was not there so we just got to go on you know he, like, hey it is what it is so um those individuals that was throwing salt on his name those individuals that say um you know he has a bad personality like when when does you having a bad personality have anything to do with your game personally you know i mean as a businessman as you know you got a lot of rich rich people you think these owners have great personalities. A lot of them don't have great personalities. A lot of them have that Aaron Rodgers personality, you know, because sometimes people think they're smarter than you. Sometimes people think that they're richer than you. Something, you know, is a lot, is a lot of different reasons why people um, move the way they move with certain people. Because then again, you have certain people that that say no, like, nah, they cool. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what did you do? Because when he's around me, like, he is a vibe. So again, um, again, you gotta understand the media normally controls the narrative, um, try to control the narrative, but like people like myself, like, that's not what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about if you're a good or a bad guy. I'm like Marcus, I'm worried about, are you gonna make my team win? That's it. You know what I'm saying? So um, going to back to Aaron Rodgers, you know, all those people that was throwing salt on his name. Um, I think that that's one of the only quarterbacks that I see nowadays besides like Tom Shady and a, a few other um, quarterbacks that play well in, in cold weather. You know, cold weather, hot weather, rain, it don't matter. Aaron Rodgers normally do his thing and he do it so easily. You know what I'm saying? He does it like, all right, you know, I'm, you know, I'm the smartest guy um, on this chessboard, you know, and that's what football is. It's a chess game. And I don't think that Jimmy G um, is smarter than Aaron Rodgers um, in that sense. You know, Aaron Rodgers has been in the league for a long time. he has been um, the backup to Brett Favre, even though um, they don't like each other. He learned something from from that individual. He learned a lot from you know, um, the Dick LeBeau defense, all these different um, defenses that he's seen. Um, and that's what you get when you get a veteran quarterback. You know what I'm saying? It's just like Fitzpatrick. You've been on like 16, 17 teams. And even though you may not be the greatest quarterback, you've seen so many defenses that it makes it better on your on your end when you break down defenses. So I think that's what he's going to do with San France, just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like San France and Jimmy G is not going to be able to, um, you know, keep score with Aaron Rodgers, kind of like the Golden State Warriors. You know, some teams can't keep up with those type of individuals. You know, you're you're over here hitting a three every time you're over here every time getting a touchdown. Like, it's not a field goal. Like, it's a touchdown every time. Like, look, three three drives and three touchdowns, that demoralizes people. You know what I mean? And I think that's yeah. exactly what's going to happen to Jimmy G. Um, and um, I think um, Boza got injured last last game. I don't know on what the severity of that injury, but you need Nick Boza. You know what I mean? You need him on your team. One of the Boza brothers got to be over there, you know, lights out, doing their thing. And just the plain fact that you're not 100%, you're going to lose. Aaron Rodgers just showed the team don't need to be 100%. Devontae Adams, you was out for a long period of time. Aaron Rodgers was still winning. Aaron Rodgers normally didn't have, you know, a plethora of wide receivers or or named wide receivers or named running backs or 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 defense or a, a, a decent, decent defense. Not even the greatest, just a decent. He, he, he wins with all these things against him, just like the Miami Heat. But again, you got to understand it's going to be a game. Um, like you said, I really like this game because I really want to watch this game because I normally don't see um, Green Bay games like when it's snowing. Uh, hopefully it's like it's a, a snowstorm, a blizzard, you know, <laughs> hopefully like for real, like, you know, back in the days when when it was snowing and and you really see it on the field and 
like yeah i want to see it like that like the old school um days you know or regardless if you got the machines to clear off the 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 um the snow i want right behind the bench there's piles of snow you know i would just want it to be a snowstorm but i want it to be a good game you know and i think it's going to be a good game because aaron Rodgers could play in any weather so um right, green right. bay packers uh 34 to 21. all right all right so before we get this last thing last game i just want to shout out the um the hurricanes and the crib players that are in the playoffs or have been in the playoffs so far. So Denzel Perryman, you know, our boy, <laughs> still in the league, was playing for the Raiders last, last week. Uh, Greg Rousseau playing for Buffalo, you know, but, um, you know, still playing in, in the playoffs. Um, I already talked about Devin Singletary from Atlantic High School. Nick Bosa, you just mentioned from St. Thomas Aquinas here in Fort Lauderdale. I think that's I think that's about it. I can't think of anybody else from the crib or from the hurricanes that are in the playoffs. Um I can't think of nobody else really. I think there's nobody it. in Tampa Bay that that came from oh Levante Miami. David uh from Miami Northwestern, um Miami Northwestern High School. So shout out to him. And this last game. Is a very, very interesting game, man. Yeah, you got the Rams who looked, you know, like they going back to the Super Bowl with that game that they played against Arizona. Or it could be just Arizona was just bad because they just looked terrible. And Kyler Murray looked Deion lost. Was playing. Kyler, huh? DeAndre Hopkins wasn't playing. Right, right. But, like, at the same time, like – was he the entire team? Like, I mean, come on, like Kyler Murray, you should be able to, you know, at least move the ball something. You you didn't do nothing last game. I, I think, think he had 100%. like 40 yards in the first half or something like that. Come on, like DeAndre Hop Hopkins, I, I know he's a great player. I'm a fan of him as, as a wide receiver. He's one of my top three wide receivers in the league. But uh, come on, man, like you were expecting a better effort. But at the, at the flip side, was it really just the Rams? Maybe the Rams is really that good. I mean, they are an all-star team. You know, if there's anybody we could really compare to the, the Golden State Warriors, it's really the Rams because you got Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, you got Von Miller. Let's not forget they got Von Miller in the, in the beginning, in, in the middle of the season. Uh, you got Sony Michelle at running back, who used to be a five star. That's another kid I, I, I should I should mention from American Heritage High School. Um, and you got Matthew Stafford, which like Rogers more than Rogers, because Rogers does have a ring already. Already has a lot to prove. And you got OBJ, and then you got C Cooper Cup, who statistically the best wide receiver in the league this season. So all of that, with, with all of that being said, you playing against Tom Shady, you know what I'm saying? Tom Shady and that defense, that defense, that front seven is, is probably the best in the league with Vita Vea and Levante David, like I mentioned. You still got Dominican Sue on, on that defensive line with Jason Pierre-Paul coming off the edge. I mean, it's like they're kind of an all-star team too. It, it, um. And their defensive backfield is finally somewhat healthy, which it hasn't been during the season. But what happened in that last game, though, which I think is the key in this game, and you might be surprised with my pick in this game, is that they lost two offensive linemen. One of them was is an all-pro offensive lineman, in Tampa Bay. And I'm just like, come on, Tom Brady, Tom Brady doesn't move, really. And then Aaron, he, Aaron Donald is the, is the player that, is in the advantage here you know what i'm saying he's gonna get he's always in against, against some <laughs> some scrub that's gonna be replacing um tristan worse who, who's, who's that player who's injured so tom brady is doesn't i mean they got a uh, an okay running game but um the play that they play i think his name vaughn i know his last name is vaughn but a no-name running back um, not not uh, Leonard Fournette, who I don't think is playing in this game. They still don't have Chris Godwin. And then Mike Evans, you know, he's a great player. 
Um, but he is injury prone, and I think I'm not sure if he's 100 going to be 100 percent for this game. But he's a legitimate threat, and those other receivers, you know, Tom Brady can make look like all stars. Let's just let's just be real. But I think this is the Rams' time. You know, I think this is a, a Rams defense that is going to go into Tampa Bay confident. Um, and I think Tampa Bay is kind of an ideal place for an L.A. team to be playing because the weather wise is pretty much the same. And it's not like a very intimidating state stadium. You know, they don't get loud like Miami Stadium does when we're winning. Like if we were in the playoffs, you know, how, you know, how that that this hard rock stadium back behind me would be rocking when we're winning that. I mean, come on, that stadium can be compared with the most hostile environments in all of football. But Tampa Bay is not really like that. They were when, when they were hungry, you know, but, you know, you've been, you've been chilling with Tom Brady. You got, you know. You got a Super Bowl already with the first year, you know. Uh, it's not going to be a raucous environment, and I think the weather is probably going to hold up pretty pretty well if it doesn't rain. And I don't think rain is in the forecast. I think this is a game where you're going to see another crib running back, you know, start to really show how good he is in Sony Michelle. And I think he's going to be the difference because if. I think that was that was the main difference with Mas Matthew Stafford with, with his whole career. Yeah, Matthew Stafford never really had – yeah, he had Megatron, you know what I'm saying? But did he really have um, a, a running game? No, nah, not really. He didn't really have a running game uh, that you can hold your hat on. So I think this time the running game pulls through for Matthew Stafford and Tom Brady gets really frustrated – um, because he's going to get put on his back or, or put on, um, you know, uh, under heavy pressure. And that's how you beat Tom Brady, let's be honest. You put pressure on Tom Brady, we know it. The Dolphins always messing up the Patriots season, like every season it seems like. And um, I think they're going to put some pressure on him. And I think Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey and these players and have something to prove in them uh, within themselves. So, so definitely I'm going to go with the Rams to pull off the upset over Tom Shady. And I'm going to go with a 37 to 20, 27 type game. Okay. I mean, after you done educated me and, and a few of the viewers on two offensive linemen being injured, then I got to change my pick. Forget, <laughs> <laughs> forget me saying it's going to be Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Shady in, in, in the, um, um, not the championship game, but the um, NFC championship game. Uh, I gotta go ahead and change my <laughs> my decision and go with the Rams. Why? Um, basically everything that you said. Um, you got Sony Michelle coming back to the crib. You got Jalen Ramsey coming back to the crib. Um, I mean, Jalen Ramsey played at FSU, so Tampa Bay right. is not too far from FSU. So you know, I'm pretty sure he got relatives and family around there. Sony Michelle, same thing. Um, from down here, South Florida, but you know, he got something to prove, you know, you got traded from the New England Patriots, you know, when you get traded from the New England Patriots, sometimes people look at you like you're the problem, you know what I'm saying? And you're not um, um, grasping certain things, kind of something that, you know, that they said with Chad Johnson, he didn't understand the playbook, same thing with Cam Newton, he didn't understand the playbook, certain things like that, certain people that we know have a career in the NFL and flourished up other places. So, uh, for me, Shona Michelle is going to be doing this thing. I think it's going to be a defensive game. I think that um, Matthew Stafford um, is going to be like having something to prove, like you said. But again, then again, when you got them butterflies in your stomach, you're going against Tom Shady. Uh, I think he's going to overthrow a few um, guys. He's going to 
you know, turn into um, that individual that played for the Detroit Lions that never won a playoff game, that never made a playoff. So for me, um, I think that even though they're going to win the game, the they're not going to win. Once. once? Yeah, I think he made the playoffs one time. Yeah, you know, everybody got a dream. Everybody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, he, but, but last week was his first playoff win for sure. See, so 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 yeah, there you go. There you have it. Um, you got somebody that just got a taste of winning, and it, you know, he had a he had a part in playing that he's the quarterback. Um, but I think when you put against um, like you said, an all-star defense as well, um, in that environment, yeah, they're not the the they're the same stadium, but I don't think they're the same, have the same intensity when you had Warren Sapp back there and certain things like yeah. that. You know, that's not that type of defense, but their decent defense is decent. Um, but look, I don't think it's going to affect um, the Rams. Why? Because in practice, you're going against Patrick Ramsey, Aaron Donald, and Von Miller. So you should be able to, um, you know, see the uh, Dominica Sue's and, um, the um, other players coming through in the line and possibly doing a thing. You're going against the right same level type of player. You know, I mean, one is type A, one is a A, A, um, A, B, you know, one, 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 A, one, you know, something like that. But yeah. I really do feel like it's going to be a closer game. It's not going to be a high scoring game. It's going to be in the 20s. I mean, the Rams going to win 24 to 21. And the reason why I'm saying 24 to 21, Tom Shady normally don't lose by a touchdown. It's normally by a field goal. I'm going to give them that benefit just because of Tom Shady, you know, and Tom, I think Tom Shady, you don't mind um, winning another Super Bowl and showing uh, Bill Belichick that, yo, it was me. It was not you, you know, and, and, and that's what these coaches got to understand. You know what I mean? You got, you got Jordan, you know, it was Jordan. It was not the coach. <laughs> you know, um, you you may have certain people that you play a, a factor in it, but when you got the best of the best, normally they do their thing regardless. You know, um, it's like men, men among boys. You know, Megatron. Like, come on, man, Megatron was beasting against great re on, on corners, great safeties, linebackers. It didn't matter matter because he was just so big, just like Shaq. You're just so big. Just like LeBron, it, you, you know. So for me, that's what it's going to be. 24-21, the Rams going to go ahead and win this game. And Tom Tom Shady is going to really feel some type of way about all the turmoil that's happened in Tampa Bay with, with um, the coach and the raw receiver, um, Antonio Brown, and, 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 and so on and so on. Normally when you have little dysfunction in the organization and, and it's – in the media, those teams tend to not win. You know, Tom Tom Shady didn't have that when he was in New England. So that's why you're going to lose. Okay, so we both like Packers, Rams, and Bengals. We both like the Bengals. You just like Buffalo, and I like KC. So that's the only difference going into this weekend. Uh, one more player just came to my mind was Amari Cooper from uh, Miami Northwestern High School. He was also – in the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? So, um, other than that, I do want to shout out the Miami Hurricanes 